It's Travel Michigan. I'm Dave Lorenz along with George Zimmerman. And uh, George, where are we headed to first? Well, first stop is actually downtown Detroit to talk to Michelle Marine, the Director of Programming for the upcoming Detroit River Days in a couple weeks. And so, uh, Michelle, uh, River Days, for folks who don't know, talk to us about it. What is it? Sure, absolutely. It's our Maritime Festival, three-day festival that celebrates Detroit's rich maritime history. This will be our seventh annual festival, and we've got something for families to enjoy along the riverfront. Um, a few of our, our key um, entertainment-type things that we have for the families to enjoy include more than 40 musical acts, We've got a fairway with 25 rides and games. We have a Flagstar Kids Zone with lots of acti- activities for the little ones. We've got a Pepsi Taste of Detroit food court with more than 20 great vendors. We have Artscape, which is a second-year urban art competition that actually kicks off June 17th and runs through River Days. We've got Typhoon Tommy jet ski demonstrations, a tall ship apple door that folks can actually tour on. We've got 40 activities in Millican State Park, including things like biking and cycling, um, urban camping, fishing, lots of demonstrations there. We've got strolling buskers, um, Diamond Jack River tours, and a bike night on Friday night. So there's something that everyone can enjoy with the family along the Detroit Riverfront. Sounds like quite a weekend. You know, mm-hmm. the uh, for folks who haven't been down along the Riverfront, too, you know, what's happened down there, just talk about that a little bit. The uh You know, it it wasn't that many years ago that people did not really hang out along the riverfront. That's right. Actually, we're celebrating our 10th anniversary, so we're a nonprofit that was founded in 2003, and we've spent the past 10 years um, totally transforming our Detroit riverfront. We're responsible for the construction, operations, maintenance, security, programming, basically anything that goes on on the riverfront. And it's a a truly terrific place to come down and enjoy. We've got nearly three and a half miles of completed river walk now on what we call the East Riverfront for folks to enjoy, to walk, bicycle, exercise, or simply relax and enjoy the scenery. Yeah, it really is cool. And, of course, during this event, you get to not only experience the riverfront and all its beauty and, uh, and charm and, and just, you know, just a great place to, to be, but uh, you get to see all these kind of fun things. Tell us about this, uh, this artscape, this urban art display. Sure, absolutely. We're now in our second year, and it's an urban art competition. We've got about 15 artists who will be competing for a total of $17,000 in cash prizes. And it features outdoor, large-scale art, so it will be featured all along the Riverwalk outdoors. And it's um, actually a juried art competition, and then we also have a People's Choice Award. So as our visitors come down, they can pick their favorite piece of art and actually vote on that and be part of the competition as well. So we're really excited. It features sculptures, paintings, um, basically any medium that anyone wants to enter, as long as it's large-scale and weather-worthy, we welcome it to the riverfront. Hmm. That's a great thing. So, Michelle, you mentioned the Apple Door will be there. Obviously, she, for those who don't know, is from Bay City. That's where she hails from. Uh, and But she'll be at the new um, Detroit Wayne County uh, Port Authority dock. That's Ta- talk about that improvement a little bit, because folks may not know much about that either. Sure. We're really excited about that. Um, that opened um, two years ago now. And what that allows is things like large vessels, such as cruise ships, to come and dock down at Detroit and make Detroit a port of call. Um, things like the, the tall ship that you mentioned, the Apple Door 4, will be down there. So it's a really really, really exciting um, um, amenity that we have along the riverfront now and that, that availability for large ships to come and dock and and see Detroit and, and all of its beauty. And before that dock, too, we should just mention that, you know, the uh, cruise ships that did come here actually would tie up across the river over in Windsor, which, you know, is, is nice, too, but Correct. we're glad to have them over on our side, so that's a Absolutely. good Absolutely, so thing. they can come and enjoy all the beauty and the nightlife in Detroit. Well, during the, the festival itself, during the river days, uh, can people still get on the paddle boat and the other uh, the boat cruises that are available there? Um, actually, we have Diamond Jack River Tours that will be offering tours throughout the weekend. So those will be um, docking over at Rivard Plaza. And, and so they're there, I mean, they're at Rivard Place uh, kind of uh, all summer long, right? That is correct, yeah. right. And people, I think, are very surprised to hear that you have a variety of uh, ways to get on the river in Detroit. We sure do. Yeah. You know, one thing that uh, we haven't really talked much about is also the uh, the Marriott at the Renaissance Center there, right there, obviously in the heart of this, is offering some special deals uh, for that weekend. 
That's correct. That's correct. So we, we love having them as a partner, and, and folks can check out their website to uh, look at the special deals on hotel rates and, and make it sort of a mini vacation. I've tried uh, jet skiing before, and uh, it's just, uh, <laughs> you, know, you know. I'm sorry. Did I laugh at that? I know. Well, I, I did. <laughs> yeah. You should have seen me. Uh, yeah. It was just hard for me to keep my balance because uh, I'm, I'm really not a very balanced did, did you person get lost? in so many ways. I didn't get lost. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, luckily, there was just only one shoreline for yeah. me to, to look at. Yeah. But, um, you know, these demos, are we talking? And people who are doing all these kind of crazy stunts? We are, absolutely. So they do many tricks out on the, the jet skis, and that takes place right at Rivard Plaza. It's really, really fun to see. It's become a festival favorite, Typhoon Tommy. So this is uh, at Rivard. Do you actually put any stands up, or are people kind of just along the riverfront to watch this? Um, people basically t- come along the riverfront. Some like to bring their own chairs and enjoy. We've got benches and places for people to sit or to stroll along and, and take in the great views and the great activities taking place during River Days. And uh, I'm sorry, only a couple seconds left, George. Yeah, and so, um, Michelle, one thing I was going to ask, you know, it's not really related to the interview directly, but your last name is Marine. Marine, that's mm. correct. And, and you work at Detroit River Days. <laughs> that's correct. I planned it that way. <laughs> that's <laughs> very clever. <Yeah. laughs> Somebody planned it that way. Somebody must have. <laughs> it's a good have. idea. Yeah. Well, thank you, Michelle. Michelle Marine, Director of Programming with the Detroit River Days, coming up very soon, June 21st through the 23rd. And, of course, as, uh, as has been mentioned, you know, at any time of the year, it's a great opportunity, a great uh, reason just to check out that riverfront in Detroit. And it will surprise you. If you, um, if you haven't been there for a while or maybe you've never been there, like most people in Michigan and the Midwest, you're going to be really surprised at the um, the great development there, and in some some way, uh, just the opportunity to see nature in an uh, urban uh, environment as well. It's really cool. So check it out during Detroit River Days coming up June 21st through the 23rd. We're going to find out what's happening with Back to the Bricks. They're heading uh, on the road all throughout Michigan next, right here on Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at Michigan.org.